Hey guys, I want to thank you for stopping by the channel. Um, as you can tell, we're not at the car show, and we're not at the car show because, and I don't know if you'll be able to even see this. Okay, yeah, see that right there? That's all headed right to where the car show is. So that's why I'm not out there. Um, but it, I wanted to do a live stream. I, you know, try to get uh, connected with you guys on Tuesdays. I'm awful white and this is going to be a horrible lighting, but um, let's see if it looks better over here. Now, does that look better over the, I don't know where that's going to look better. I may just have to be really, I'm white anyway, uh, so I may just be have to be washed out. But uh, Rafa, thanks for stopping in. Guys, um, I'm going to uh, wait before I get into today's topic. Thank you, car is looking good. Um, but I wanna to touch on a few things, guys, before I get started talking about cars, uh, about tires. Um, and that is uh, August the 26th, we're gonna be having for, for you guys, some of you guys that are here local, and I've already gotten several emails, more than I anticipated, of people wanting to come up and do the cruise that we're gonna be having. Brad, hey, I know you're traveling, thanks for stopping by. Uh, this is going to allow me to kind of catch you guys' comments a little bit too, but um, I know a lot of people watch this afterwards. But if you want to come out and cruise with me, and uh, right now we're looking, probably going to have 20 plus cars at least, I think even more than that. But uh, some guys here in the Corvette Club, as well as uh, we've got some people coming from Arkansas, somebody's coming in from Texas, uh, Kansas. So we've got guys in, in several different places all over. Uh, Oklahoma are going to be coming in for the cruise. Uh, so if you want to make it up, it's going to be between 11 and probably 1.30, 2 o'clock, maybe, maybe three hours. I've got a, a, a guy named Mark who's helping me with the route to get us out. And some we may take uh, Route 66, which has got some real nice uh, roads that you can drive on. They're kind of, uh, you know, curvy. And then we may jump on a highway to get back into town. Uh, but if you want to come, all you got to do is drop me an email, send me a picture of your car, and let me know, hey, Chuck, I want to come down August 26th. Again, we're going to be doing it from 11 to 1, and then I are 11 to, you know, 1.30 or so, and then I will send you um, the details when that time gets closer, where we're going to meet when you, when you get in town. Uh, let's catch uh, GM Money. What's going on? Young One, 11 from Michigan. Um, but uh, in here, man, we're going to get into that. So that's the 26th. It's the live streams. Last week, guys, the live stream footage was horrible. <laughs> I went back and looked at it. And unfortunately, when I'm out doing these live streams, I'm at the, I'm at the mercy of uh, LTE. So we're not in Wi-Fi or anything like that. So forgive me if those uh, aren't the quality you're used to. Uh, Glenn from New York. Hey, guys. Um, so we're going to be talking about cars. Uh, we're going to cars. Of course, we're talking about cars. But we're going to talk about tires. I get this question a lot from many of you guys. And hey, I'm not a tire guy. And what's great about having this uh, forum or this kind of channel is bringing up the different things about the cars that we all love to drive. Well, you know, whether you're driving a, a Mustang, whether you're driving a Hellcat, whether you're driving a beautiful Z06. And I'm why this thing is just blowing me out. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you know, what we all want is tires because if we don't have great tires, we're not going to get good performance in our cars. Plus, these tires are not like tires that go on a Prius and you know, you can get those for a hundred dollars a pop. These are four and five hundred dollar tires. Um, so I get a lot of questions from guys about, you know, Chuck, what, you do, what tires do you have? How many miles are on them? You know, the current ones that I have now are the ones that came with it, and that's the Pilot Super Sports, and they are the run flats. Um, and I've just pushed over 10,000 miles on mine. And you guys know uh, a couple videos back, I lowered the car. And when I lowered it, I did have uh, someone here local uh, stopped in real quick. He said, hey, bring it by. And we did it real quick, uh, balancing on the car. Really didn't even need to do it, he said. Um, he said it really didn't change anything, so it's not going to affect the wear and tear or anything like that on the car. Um, but where you guys come into play is this. I know there's a lot of you out there that, that know about tires. And current, the current on the Z06s, the Grand Sports, those types of things, they have the Pilot Super Sports, but the brand new tire that's coming out by Michelin 
is the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Um, and this is supposed to be a, an, a year round tire, not just a seasonal tire. Leo, thanks for stopping in. And that's what kind of what a lot of guys are Corvette guys, you know, you go out and buy these and these uh, Pilot Super Sports, you know, they really don't like the weather once you start getting below the 40, you know, degree mark. Um, you start having cracking issues. Um, you know, not a lot of us get out and drive our car during the winter anyway. Some of you guys that are up north start putting your cars up. Uh, you know, when football season starts because your weather starts declining and you really can't get them out, especially if you have the Cup 2 tires on the Z07 packages. Um, but what I'm going to need you guys to do, and of course, you can't leave a comment during the live stream and it stick around. So if you know about tires and you say, hey, you know, I've got a 2016 Grand Sport or, you know, you've got a Ford GT 350R or whatever, and you've put tires on your car outside of the stock tires, let us know in the comments below how well they work. Um, you know, again, I don't know if anybody in here yet has already gotten the new Pilot Sport 4S's. I looked for them online, couldn't find them. They were supposed to be, they've been over in Germany, but they've recently uh, supposed to of being start being sold here in the US. I couldn't find them on Tire Rack anywhere. Uh, but, you know, the Super Sports that I have on it now, they're great tires. I mean, yeah, they're run flats, but I've also ran over, uh, I ran over a blade one time and I needed to get about 20 miles to where I could get somewhere to have them fix it. And uh, when I got there, yeah, the tire pressure was coming down, but it didn't damage the wheels or do anything like that. So that's where the run flats really come into play. Um, I know some of you guys are dropping comments in here now, and I appreciate that. Just make sure you drop it after the video so that everybody who watches this, you know, if we get anywhere between five and 10,000 people that watch this live stream after it's over with. And if you wanna be able to leave your comments so that everyone can see them and you be a benefit uh, to everyone, make sure you drop it once the video's over. Uh, and then all of you guys, of course, that are watching this later on. Uh, but again, the run flats, a lot of guys don't like the run flats. Uh, they do make the car ride, ride a little rougher, but again, I think when you got such expensive wheels on these cars, you don't want them to be damaged uh, in case of you know you running over something. At least that run flat will help you get to where you want to go. But uh, when you get into drag radials, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on dra drag radials, what you want to put on, because I, I, that's what I'm looking into now to uh, order me another set of tires for the for the rear. And because uh, I would like to put some drag radials on those, but I'm gonna go out and you know kind of play with the car a little bit, uh, just jack the back end up and, and change them out. Um, but again, the the new Pilot Super Sports, uh, the new ones supposedly are not in the run flats yet, but they're supposed to be. But you know, looking at the as far as cost wise, to put a whole new set of tires on runs you about seventeen, about eighteen hundred dollars for the Super Sports. Uh, if you have to have the Cup 2 tires, I thought it was kind of interesting on Tire Rack. It was actually cheaper to put the Cup 2 tires on, but of course you're going to put them on more frequently because you're only get about seven to 10,000 miles on that, if that. And those are about 1578 for a set for fronts and backs. Um, so again, I've been really happy with these tires. I've been caught out in the rain with it. You guys have seen me in a few videos where I've been out in the rain, haven't had any issue, put it over in weather mode, and these tires uh, work really really well in in those different conditions have been out when it's colder haven't had any issues I just don't think this is these are tires that you want to set out Maybe if this is a daily driver for you You're gonna want to look into a year-round type tire for sure to put on there uh, Whether you have a stingray Which the new stingrays the 2018 stingrays which a lot of you guys have stingrays They've went from the 18s and 19s to now the 19s and 20s so you do have bigger, uh, the 20s on the back and 19s on the front, where you used to have the 18s on the front and the 19s on the back. Uh, because I think GM just wanted to get all the cars having the same rear wheels as far as the, the width on them. Now, of course, they're gonna be different sizes uh, because the Z06s have the 335s, and I wanna say that the, uh, the Stingrays are like the 285s, I believe. Uh, I may be mistaken there, but some of you guys who had the Stingrays maybe know those a little bit better than I do. Um, but again, mileage wise, a lot of guys, you know, let, let us know out there what kind of miles you guys are getting. If you have, 
you know, maybe a 2015 Z06, or, you know, if you've got one of the new Grand Sports, you're probably not needing tires yet, unless you've already been out tracking like crazy or have just put a ton of miles on them. But again, you know, if you've got a 2015, let us know how these uh, Pilot Super Sports are working for you, because they're a great tire. I think they're a tire worth having, and, um, you know, I may look at replacing these if, if they still continue with them, uh, unless I hear a lot of good things about the Pilot Sport 4S, uh, which again are going to be, uh, which are supposed to be here, but I haven't talked to anybody who has them yet. Um, getting to, um, let me stop, grab some of you guys' questions real quick. Uh, during the winter months of the course, uh, no on the run flats. There's a lot of people that don't like run flats, and I understand that, G Money. Uh, New York, we're driving our vets unless we have a 80 degree day in the winter. Hey Chuck, uh, Michelin AS run flats all day. Um, okay, I'm just kind of looking at different ones. David was in here. Um, but again, I'm going to go back and read all of you guys' comments after this video is over so that I can also get some information from you guys as far as uh, which tires are definitely going to be the best for this. Now, um, I'm real also excited about next week. I'm going to be out with a Z06 owner. Uh, he's agreed to, uh, we're going to do an in-car uh, kind of uh, like a question and answer. I'm going to talk to him about his experience with the ZR1. He's got a 2010 ZR1, and we're going to get some footage of his car. Again, a question and answer that's going to be on, it won't be on a live stream. It'll be on just a video that I will release because, as you guys know, ZR1 is coming and I'm trying to get as much information from people as I possibly can about their experience with the ZR1 because it's totally different than having a Z06. I mean, the suspension is different, the ride is different. So I want to try to get as much information from him as I can because again, the ZR1 isn't going to be a car kind of like the, the Z01 1LE that you get out on the city roads, things will beat you up. <laughs> but hopefully GM, um, is going to be able to maybe loosen that car up a little bit with drive modes, different things like that. And then, of course, you put it into track. Uh, yes, no car show this evening because we're about to get... We've got major storms uh, that are, like, right here on the doorstep. Uh, if you're just now coming in, that's why I'm not at the, at the car show. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But here's Tulsa. This big old line of storms is about to hit, and it's pretty severe. So I didn't want, you know, there's not going to be any cars out there. It'd probably be me standing around with a camera, not showing you guys anything. Um, but make sure, guys, again, uh, on all the videos, if you come in, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, too bad. I definitely love being out there and checking out the cars. And that's what I enjoy doing on Tuesdays. That runs all the way from Memorial Day. No, I'm, I take that back. It's from Daylight Savings Time. So it'll be from March all the way into November. They have those. So as we get into these cooler months, there's a whole lot more cars there on Tuesdays, and you guys will be able to check those out. Uh, if you're brand new to the channel, and I should have said this at the beginning, but um, you know, make sure that uh, you hit the little bell button that lets you know if I'm out doing a live stream, which I will be doing this Saturday. I'll be doing a live stream this Saturday because I'm at, I'm actually a judge at a car show. It's going to have a lot of cars. I think they said over 450, maybe 500 cars. It's a huge car show that happens in Owasso. So if you happen to be in the Tulsa area, you live maybe you know somewhere around, you know where Owasso is. I'm going to be out there. I'm going to be a judge uh, working with our Corvette club, uh, Bob, who's going to be heading that up. And so I'm going to be out there helping assist with that. And so I'm going to do maybe a 15, 20 minute live stream of the different cars while I'm out there. Um, so. I don't know what time that's going to be, but if you got the bell turned on, it's going to let you know when I'm out there. Of course, you can watch it later on. Uh, but guys, I hope you're enjoying the videos. I'm getting a lot of great feedback from you guys on giving me subjects of titles. Just one second. My garage door shuts if I don't. I've got one of those garage doors that automatically shuts if, uh, if it's left open for a certain amount of time. I have two sons, so you got to have that. But guys, I appreciate the thumbs up and the comments you guys always leave on these videos. I'm astounded by the amount of growth this channel has received. So I know you guys are at least somewhat enjoying the content. What's going on, Mark? Um, 
but that's kind of what I wanted. I had someone uh, that sent me an email saying, hey, Chuck, can you uh, maybe start a video about tires and people can leave some comments? Uh, because again, a lot of people have questions about, you know, what, should, what tires should, how long should these tires last? Again, these, the, the, the uh, Pilot Sports are supposed to last, they say between 20 and 30,000, but again, a lot of that's gonna depend on a lot of different factors. You know, the biggest factors are driving style, you know, you know what kind of suspension setup do you have what's the tire pressure you keep them at what kind of pavement are you driving in because uh, some of the streets uh, are different whether you live in Oklahoma or maybe you live up in uh, Flo maybe you live down in Florida or Arizona different places so these tire wear is going to be quite different depending on where you live um, but guys that's video is about 15 minutes long that's where I try to keep these if I can I'm looking forward to all of your comments below so guys I hope you have a wonderful week today's Tuesday I hope uh, you've you know the week's gotten started off good for you and if you're on vacation this week enjoy it I know a lot of kids are going back to school uh, and I look forward to seeing you guys on Saturday I hope each and every one of you enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you then